Hi everyone, welcome to Le Case Moi. Today, the beautiful garden setting is having Palau. Mauritian Palau. Right, so let's go see the ingredients. Majority of Palau is going to be rice. This is the style of the dish. Cooked in a stock. We've got stock as well. That's cheating a little. Chilies, garlic, ginger, cloves, cardamom, cinnamon, bay leaf, curry leaves, cumin, and although it says paprika, turmeric, Chinese sausage, Mauritian sausage, Mauritian sausage, mm -hmm. and some chicken thighs, which we still have to cut, and then onions. Ooh, two types. Fancy. <laughs> and then we've got some eggs that we've already boiled. Those are for decoration later. I think that's about it. Let's get started. Love chicken thighs. And they're so great, these ones. They come boneless. They do, for some reason. Didn't even notice. <laughs> Poor little puppy doesn't get any bones. Uh -huh. Palau, it sounds so Polynesian. You know, <laughs> like from... from... You might recognize it as pilaf as well. That's what the Americans call it. Pilaf. Yeah, pilaf. And yeah, all over the world. It's basically rice cooked in a stock. So okay. you work out where you've heard of rice cooked in a stock before, right? But I know the Persian stuff comes like that. Think, we made that Iranian yes, food. Yes, yes. And I think Spain. And paella. Yes. <laughs> oh, so this is like paella. Oh, I suppose paella is a, a pil pilaf, a palau. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, awesome. Right, now this is kind of weird, but we, this is a, quite a lazy dish, so bear with me. <laughs> We're kind of going to put this chicken we just cut, and all those beautiful things. You're going to fry them first. No, no, because we're going to fry them with the chicken, so we literally just going to throw them. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it just sits with that. <laughs> well, yeah, we're going to mix it up, we're going to still add a bit of our... Uh, petit ani cumin. Let's pop a good teaspoon of that. And paprika. No? I'm reading it. <laughs> paprika. <laughs> Turmeric. <laughs> like over a teaspoon. Uh, yeah. Depending on how yellowy you want your rice to come out. Because everything's going to be cooked together. Salt. A little bit of salt. And then some sugar. And I'm actually going to put two teaspoons of sugar. And the process of browning meats with sugar comes from the African influence because Palau is a really popular dish in places like Kenya and Tanzania. Okay, wow. So, as interesting as that looks. It actually it's... does look quite nice. I know it sounds weird. It's all uncooked and stuff, but <laughs> festive with the chilies. Whole chilies. Yeah, keep it chunky. Okay. I mean, you can grind all this if you want. But this is like the rustic version. Yes. Oh, it smells great. And yes, I'm even using my teaspoon so that I don't have to wash another thing. <laughs> Lazy pot. <laughs> this genuinely never happens to us. <laughs> it always does. It was sitting there by the avo pip. Yes, you've got to put the coriander stems in. So I'm going to just put the stems in and then we'll save the leaves for, for garnishing later. Trusty teaspoon. More gratuitous stirrings. <laughs> right, so these are little Mauritian sausages without colour. They're normally red. These ones are not red, as you can see. <laughs> it's a slightly sweetish Chinese sausage, but you, you can use any sausage you want. You can actually not even have sausage if you want. You could put some beef or bacon or rabbit or You forgot anything. to put the oil in, Rick. They're apparently oily, but we'll see. These guys have had a little bit of a chance, and there is no fat coming out of these, so this must be a low-fat version or something. Lean sausages. <laughs> so I'll give them a little bit of fat, because sausages must sizzle. Yes, isn't that right? Ooh, those don't look good. Mm -hmm. Do you have to fully cook them? No, 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 we just need to get a bit of colour on them. <laughs> because <laughs> they're going to be cooked again later. Oh, wow. <laughs> Jump for me! <laughs> Tong master! Oh, nice! They look so good! Look Thank at them you, banging! Actually, They're yeah. like bangers! I've never actually eaten these before. I'm going to make a point of actually eating one. Yeah, I'm sure they cooked enough that you could try it. We'll see. Here we go! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Brad. Bit of butter. 
bit of butter. <laughs> and we've got our onions. Loads of onions. This is two onions. But again, this is a loosey goosey type recipe. <laughs> loosey goosey. <laughs> How you like? Looks all right. Oh, it's got spices inside. Yeah, it's actually cooked nicely. Oh. That whole piece will be for you. Oh, awesome. I want to try it. While we're caramelizing our onions, I'm just going to chop these kind of loosely. Oh, is that for me? Uh -huh. Oh, well, I really like that. Oh, and yeah. it's got these more. Are they good? That's a good sausage. You should try some. I will. Actually, really nice. Not sweet. Mm. Oh, oh. Ooh, starting to caramelize. Looking lovely. Oh, those are nearly ready. Over to the eggs. I know they're for decoration. What are we doing with them now? We're going to give them some flavor and a little bit of color by popping them into the onion. You, you're frying boiled eggs. Okay. <laughs> oh, the recipe calls for it. I saw someone do it. Okay, literally they took the onion out. But, uh, you know, lazy. Uh -huh. One pot. <laughs> it's like we're making an egg curry. Yes. Oh, I got a little bit of colour. Yeah. I thought they might go like the sausages. But... <laughs> They're eggs, Dom. <laughs> that would look quite nice, actually. Oh. I'm going to pick up that nice uh, butter and onion. Get a bit of sausage flavor on you. Uh huh. <laughs> Those look great. They really do. Yeah. Anyway, stick around. We're moving on to the next part. So remember our one pot chicken marinated whole. All of it together. Oh, oh now the aroma. Oh yes. Wow. There's so much smell coming out of that mm. pot now. I'm a bit nervous about those three chilies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is coming together beautifully. The inspirations from everywhere in the world. It's, to, it's an international dish. It is really international. Eggs getting a new home? Yeah. Because... It's sausage time! They gotta join the party. Oh, look at them. They just fit right in. Oh man. And I suppose you could borrow from the Spanish and add prawns or anything you have really. Lamb, beef. Wow, just like anything. Any probably also just eggs if you just wanted eggs. Sure, or just vegetables. This is quite often just a straight up vegetarian dish. Okay. Just the onions, and I think I've seen parrots and raisins. Oh, all sorts of things. Oh, that looks amazing. It really does. Wow. We this just left it on bread now. Yeah. <laughs> mm. So good. That's sticking hot And you could do this in a big pot for lots of people. What's so, that? Over here, I've got two cups of rice, basmati rice, that I've washed. Not cooked at all. No, no, just washed. And I'm going to throw that into this whole mix from the Persian influence. Just stir oh, it in. Oh, we're going to toss it with all that flavor. Oof, Man! Yeah. Remember this rice is raw though, you can't eat this just yet. But, but it looks good <laughs> enough already, Rick. <laughs> it does. And then, because I want this quite nice and rich, I'm going to add a little bit more butter. Of course, you can always add more butter. Because Iranian rice, you put quite a bit of butter. Stir it in. Right, so two cups of rice, so I need four cups of liquid. But I'm using my cheat stock, but I don't know how big the cup this is. So that's <laughs> one, two, Three, count with me. 
Oh, four. Look, oh, look at the color though, hair four. Oh, it has gone yellow. Too much. Okay, we're going to give this a stir. Mm, mm, mm. I hope this tastes as good as it looks. Oh, me too. But you can't taste it now because the rice is raw. Yeah. And then we're going to leave that for we'll get back to you how long it took. <laughs> Covered. <laughs> On with the lid. <laughs> this one has a lid. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. So it's been about... 10 minutes and the rice is starting to look quite good so I'm actually going to leave it uncovered so that I can keep an eye on it. So while it's cooking, make a little side salsa. Just a simple onion and tomato salsa. Make it look pretty. Some onion. It's been another 10 minutes and I've decided to put the lid back on. So 20 minutes total cooking time now. 10 covered, 10 uncovered and now we're going back to covered. For another 10. For a bit of steaming. <laughs> Mm. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Oh, and the smell immediately hits your nose. Oh, it looks so good. Now, this is my serving bowl. Um, <laughs> pour it in, Rick. It might fit. Uh, I can't pour it. Too sticky. <laughs> oh, I must say. Mm. Uh -huh. It really looks rich in there. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, that butter that we started with. Oh, oh, man. oh that is so perfect. Oh. oh. It's like a paella palau. Uh -huh. How do you think the name paella comes from palau? Probably. I was just wondering, you know, the Italians don't have, is their risotto sort of like a palau, but fancy? I suppose so. I suppose it is a... It is a type of palau. They cook rice in a stock, so... Yeah, yeah, they just stir these a lot more. Oh, okay, I, so not... I suppose they would argue that this is fancier. Because you have to stir it all the time and make it creamy, but... Man, this does not look half bad. This looks all the way good. Oh, don't you just want to eat that? <laughs> yes, I do! <laughs> well, these are the eggs. Oh, Ooh, look at them. You don't cut them into quarters, you cut them in halves. Yeah, I think so. Okay. What do you guys think? I think halves. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> we'll rush back and change it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll oh, do that. Only... It does look pretty. It does. Oh man, I feel a thumbnail coming on. Yeah. Man, it looks nice. I mean, rustic, rustic, but nice. For sure. Rustic is good. Yeah, wholesome. Let's mm. <laughs> not forget the coriander. With the jet engine taking off behind us. <laughs> okay, we'll just cut it in the wheel. Big chunks of nice coriander. Oh, beautiful. Oh man, those are starting to look so good. Yeah, it looks really good. You'd think one of the glue companies would come and study coriander's effect <laughs> to stick to your hands. Beyond anything else. <laughs> it's quite remarkable. Oh man, that looks so good. Oh, I love that. I am so happy with that. Oh man, that is so, so good. One final little touch. Black pepper. Heavy. Oh. Oh man, that is a massive amount. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, and you've done a plate for me. Wow. You know, chicken pilau. Chicken oh. pilau, Mauritian style with sausage. Oh, it started raining. You serve some, Rick. Mm -hmm. Oh, make sure I get lots of everything. Oh, you will. You will. <laughs> <laughs> you will. Oh man! 
Oh. And of course, because oh. we're in Mauritius. A little lamb. Definitely. Cut some of that butter. <laughs> That's why you put so much <laughs> butter to put lamb on. Of course, why not? <laughs> wow. Oh man, that is great. that that is a thing of beauty. And that didn't make a dent. It really didn't. <laughs> Give it a go. I'm gonna go for some chicken. And of course loads of rice. It's all about the rice. Mmm. Oh. It's so fragrant. Mmm. Oh, you forget the cloves and cardamoms. Mmm, 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 mmm. That's really yummy. Oh, awesome. Mmm, mmm. Really good. Try some sausage and a bit of salsa. Mmm, 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 mmm. It works really, really. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think she said it works brilliantly. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> The whole lot works brilliantly together. Oh, we have the acidity. Mmm. Ah. Gotta have the tomato. <laughs> <laughs> give it a go, Brian, give it a go. Oh man, I just want to try the sausage and, and the chicken and the rice. And, <laughs> well, I'm just going to dig in and see what comes. Oh, sausage. Mmm. Mm. Ch mm. Chase with some tomato. Trust me, really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, and the onion. Yeah, mm -hmm. the onion. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, man. Oh, but... oh. It's like you don't need a gravy or anything with this because that rice is so, so tasty. You know, I love sauces and things. <laughs> but you don't actually need it. I'm just going for straight rice here. Oh, 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 oh wow. Best mm. rice ever. It's just rice and it's so flavorful. And you can get the, the <laughs> butter and... Oh man! Pilau! Pilau! All rice should be pilau. All rice should be pilau. Egg, sausage. How do I like get my rice on? It's like pilau. Rice. Sorry. <laughs> Excuse fingers. Where's my egg, egg go? <laughs> <laughs> it's, no. it's wonderful. I think you could totally eat it with your fingers. I think it should be eaten with your fingers probably. I think you probably are supposed yeah, to. Yeah, because it does, it does squish really well. Oh, maybe I should try that. Give it a go. What's the chili? You're going to try some of the chili. <laughs> okay, so all right, I got my egg. I'm gonna put my chili on my egg. I want to get a bit of chicken, a bit of sausage together, a bit of my and like oh. that. And then oh, you just <laughs> shovel it in. Mm. I think that's how pilau is mm. meant to be. Mm. <laughs> you really get the full effect when your mouth is full. Yes, I mm. agree. But that's a really great dish. If you've never tried this, Cooking stock with ri uh, rice with stock. Mm. Get on it. So super simple. Mm. And delicious. Really it delicious. really is delicious. Oh. And if you're a bachelor mm. or something oh. and you... Hot. Mm. <laughs> so oh. anyway, if you're a bachelor or having a girlfriend come over, wouldn't this look beautiful to serve to her? Mm. And you guys saw how easy it was. So she would be like so impressed. Date food. <laughs> but don't forget the salad. Mm-hmm. much better. Oh wow, Mauritian Palau. Hey, it rhymes. Well anyway everyone, thanks for watching. See you again next time. Definitely gonna make that again.